Imagine this, a 50-meter-tall stainless steel spacecraft descending through the black void of space, aiming for a touchdown on the moon. There are no runways, no atmosphere to slow it down, no air to cushion the landing, just bare, dusty terrain, and the only thing keeping it upright? Its legs. Recently, Elon Musk revealed new details about Starship's legs requirement. And it's not just a minor design feature. These landing legs will decide whether humans safely step onto the moon in this decade, or whether the mission fails before it even begins. Starship is already one of the most ambitious engineering projects in human history. It's designed to be the largest, most powerful rocket ever built, fully reusable, capable of carrying over 100 tons of cargo, and serving as NASA's chosen human landing system for the Artemis program. But all of that power means nothing if it can't land safely on the moon's surface. And that is where the legs requirement comes in. In this video, we're breaking down exactly what Elon Musk revealed, why landing legs are far more complicated than you might think, and how this single engineering challenge could determine the future of a lunar exploration, and even humanity's path to Mars. Background Why Starship Needs a New Approach To understand why Starship's legs are so critical, we need to look at what makes landing on the moon so difficult. The moon's gravity is just one-sixth of Earth's. That sounds helpful. Less force to counter, less weight pressing down. But it's a double-edged sword. Lower gravity means spacecraft don't stick to the surface as firmly. A small tilt during landing can easily cause a massive vehicle to topple over. Then there's the terrain. The Apollo astronauts describe the surface as covered in a fine, powdery regolith, a dust that clings to everything. Beneath that dust are rocks and uneven slopes. Apollo's lunar module had wide, spindly legs designed to spread weight and absorb shock. But Starship is not the lunar module. It's nearly 50 meters tall, weighing over 100 tons even when empty. Imagine balancing a skyscraper on four legs and setting it down on uneven ground. That's the scale of the challenge. And unlike Mars or Earth, the moon has no atmosphere. That means Starship can't use parachutes, wings, or aerodynamic braking. The engines must do all the work, and those engines will kick up huge clouds of dust and debris. NASA engineers have warned that Starship's descent could blast craters into the surface or even damage its own landing pad. That's why the legs aren't just add-ons. They are fundamental to whether Starship can function as NASA's lunar lander. What Elon Musk revealed about legs requirement. So what did Elon Musk actually say? In late 2023, SpaceX released updated renders of Starship's human landing system, the version designed for the moon. And in those images, one detail stood out. New extended landing legs. Musk later confirmed that Starship's HLS variant will need robust legs capable of handling uneven lunar terrain, absorbing landing shock, and keeping the spacecraft stable for astronaut operations. The legs appear to be four in number, mounted at the base of Starship, designed to fold out after descent. Unlike earlier prototypes, which had small flip-out legs hidden behind aerodynamic flaps, these new legs are larger, stronger, and visibly external. Musk explained that each leg must be able to adapt independently, extending or adjusting to match the slope of the surface. In other words, if Starship touches down with one leg on a rock and another in soft dust, the system must still stabilize the entire vehicle. He also hinted that these legs might double as shock absorbers. When a spacecraft weighing tens of tons touches down, even at a slow descent speed, the force of impact is enormous. Without shock absorption, that force could buckle the structure or damage internal systems. Musk has also referenced another key point. The legs must be lightweight. Every kilogram of steel added to Starship's frame is one less kilogram of cargo or fuel. SpaceX engineers are caught in a balancing act, strong enough to survive lunar landings, but light enough to keep Starship efficient. The technical challenges. Now let's break down the main challenges these legs must solve. 1. Uneven terrain. The moon's surface is not a flat parking lot. Landing zones may have slopes, rocks, or soft patches of regolith. If Starship tilts by more than a few degrees, it risks falling over. For a vehicle as tall as Starship, 
even a small tilt becomes catastrophic. Independent leg adjustment is crucial. 2. Dust and engine plumes. Starship's Raptor engines are far too powerful to fire directly near the surface without causing massive damage. To address this, SpaceX has proposed using smaller thrusters higher up on the ship for the final descent. But even so, dust will be thrown everywhere. If the legs are buried in regolith, they must resist sinking or sliding. 3. Load Distribution At lunar gravity, Starship still weighs dozens of tons. That weight must be distributed evenly across four contact points. If one leg bears more than its share, structural stress could cause failure. 4. Deployment Reliability The legs must deploy perfectly every single time. A stuck hinge, a partial extension, or a misfire could doom the mission. And because the moon is so far away, there's no way to repair them on the spot. 5. Reusability Starship isn't meant to be a one-and-done lander. Musk envisions dozens of landings, first for Artemis, then for cargo missions, then for building permanent lunar bases. The legs must withstand not just one impact, but repeated cycles. Design Solutions So how is SpaceX addressing these issues? The latest renders show four large, robust legs that fold against the body during launch, then extend before touchdown. Unlike the tiny stilt legs on early prototypes, these are serious structures, wide, extended, and seemingly equipped with shock-absorbing struts. Reports suggest that each leg could adjust independently, meaning they can adapt to slopes or uneven ground. Think of it like a camera tripod on rocky terrain. Each leg can be extended to a different length until the system levels itself. There's also evidence that Starship's HLS variant will not carry aerodynamic flaps since it won't need to survive atmospheric re-entry. This allows more room and weight allocation for the landing legs. In essence, SpaceX has stripped out parts not needed for lunar missions and replaced them with stronger supports. One more detail, the engines. Instead of firing its massive Raptors all the way to the surface, Starship may rely on small high-mounted thrusters for the last few hundred meters. This would minimize dust, reduce crater formation, and give the legs a more stable touchdown environment. Starship in the Artemis program. These landing legs aren't just theoretical. They're tied directly to NASA's Artemis program. NASA selected SpaceX's Starship HLS as the lunar lander for Artemis 3, the mission planned to return humans to the moon. But to make that happen, Starship must prove it can land safely. That's why the legs requirement is front and center. Without legs that can handle the moon's environment, Artemis cannot proceed. Here's how the mission will work. A regular starship launches to orbit, then multiple tanker starships refuel it. The HLS variant heads to lunar orbit, where it will dock with NASA's Orion capsule. Astronauts transfer into starship, descend to the moon, and land using those new legs. After their mission, they launch back to lunar orbit and rejoin Orion for the return to Earth. The entire plan hinges on one thing, Starship landing upright and stable. Without reliable legs, the astronauts can't step out, cargo can't be deployed, and the mission fails. Risks and unknown factors. Of course, many unknowns remain. Starship has not yet demonstrated a successful orbital flight and return, let alone a lunar landing. The legs shown in renders are still concepts. They haven't been tested in lunar conditions. And simulating the moon on Earth is nearly impossible. Lunar gravity, lunar dust, and the vacuum of space create conditions we simply cannot fully replicate here. There's also the risk of schedule delays. NASA's Artemis missions have already been pushed back multiple times, and critics argue that Starship is unlikely to be ready in time. A Government Accountability Office report warned that the lander faces ambitious development challenges, including the legs system. Finally, there's the issue of performance. Some reports suggest Starship may deliver less payload to orbit than originally projected, forcing further design compromises. If mass margins shrink, will the legs remain as strong as required? Or will SpaceX be forced to redesign again? Implications for the future Despite these risks, the legs requirement is more than just an engineering detail. 
it's a symbol of what's at stake. If SpaceX succeeds, Starship could become the foundation of a permanent human presence on the moon. Musk has even suggested that early landers may be left behind as part of a growing lunar base. Stable legs would allow astronauts to unload habitats, rovers, and scientific equipment directly from the vehicle. And the lessons learned on the moon will carry over to Mars. Landing on Mars presents its own challenges. A thin atmosphere, global dust storms, rough terrain. If Starship's legs prove adaptable and reliable, they'll form the backbone of SpaceX's interplanetary landings. In other words, the future of human exploration, from Artemis III to Mars colonization, literally rests on Starship's legs. So, what do we make of Elon Musk's reveal? The legs requirement is not just about stability. It's about survival, safety, and the success of humanity's next great leap. SpaceX is rethinking how a spacecraft as massive as Starship can stand on the moon, introducing legs that are stronger, smarter, and more adaptable than anything ever built before. There are risks, there are unknowns, but if Starship succeeds, those landing legs will mark the start of a new era, where humans don't just visit the moon, but live and build on it. The future of lunar exploration isn't just in the engines, the fuel, or the rockets. It's in the legs that will touch the moon first. What do you think of Starship's landing leg design? Do you believe SpaceX can pull it off in time for Artemis 3? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss our deep dives into the biggest breakthroughs in space exploration.